Greetings folks, so we're on this hoverboard project and the first job to do is to remove the battery I think, so let's try and do that. Let's disconnect everything. So there's the battery. There's the battery, four amp hours it says. Let me just get a multimeter out of interest. We'll see what's in it. I expect it to be dead, but you never know. Okay, we have the cheapo multimeter, DC voltage. And we have 39.8 volts, interestingly. We'll put that to one side for now. We've got a couple of screws here. Look like they might be the ones. Let's disconnect that. Oh, there's four screws. Let's get rid of them and that might come out then. Nice. Some kind of control board. And interestingly, we have quite a solid little mounting. This is where the motor goes in, and they're the three wires that will produce the power, and they're the presumably the hall sensor wires. Let's just do the other side. Interestingly, on this side it would appear, right now let's just remove all the wires. Just gonna get the cable ties off and then we can see what we've got. Jolly good, there's the three, no problem there. Uh, now I'm just gonna go find, I'm just gonna go find a hefty Allen key bit and we'll try and get these sorted. I'm just gonna give them a squirt of the old good stuff first. Right, I appear to have the right size drill bit, so let's hope these come off nice and easy. Sweet. There, my friends, is motor number one. I presume that's just going to fall off. I'm not going to knock it off now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so that's good. Beautiful. Look at that. Five pounds that cost. In essence, right, let's do the other one.
And that is motor number two. Just going to try and harvest as much of the usable cables as we can because then the rest can can go. Whoa! What the hell? I was sorry, that's just started my dogs off. That must have been the capacitors there. So that was a bit weird. You have to remember I'll remember that in future. Right, that's all we're going to use off that, so everything else can go in the bin. What I'm going to do, let's try the old test where we hold two of the wires together and see if it'll spin. No, that's very stiff. All three wires. Yep, that's very stiff. Excellent. Same on this one. Two wires together. Partially stiff. Three wires together. Sweet. Well, from first impressions, that seems pretty good. I don't really want to open these. Uh... Yeah, I don't really want to open these yet because I haven't decided exactly how to mount them so opening them would be pretty pointless. So that, that'll do for this video. We've got the two wheels, which is what we wanted. We've got the battery, uh, which says it's got some voltage in it, but I don't really know. And then we've got plenty of wire. So in the next part, I'll test these. Cheers.